Good afternoon, everybody. This is Minister Paul coming to you from Northern California at 3.50 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at 8.25, 2012. I just walked by. I wasn't going to do this today. Make a quick video. I walked by and looked at my microwave, and it was 3.33. I'm just amazed at the power of God. I'm going to put out a, this thing that happened on 8.22, 2012. I'm going to try and explain it the best I can. I even took notes because the time from here is four minutes off from the microwave. So if I would have sat here, I wouldn't have seen 333. Are you with me? So God is, if I would have uh, went to the microwave, so it's not just me sitting at the computer. It's, it's everywhere. First of all, let me explain as far as Japan. Uh, Japan did get hit twice today. God is just showing out it's a 5.1 and a 5.8 did anybody pray for them and you know do you, you I really this is not something I'd planned on doing so I'm just gonna go through this quickly um, I'm just gonna say they were slaughtered just remember that term they were slaughtered okay on 822 we were doing a three-day fast and we were into it the second day. I was sitting here, I hadn't eaten, and I had a vision. I mean, the difference between a vision and a dream, in case you didn't know, is in a vision you're awake. I was sitting here praying for Israel, and I saw a big white star. It looked kind of like this. I want everybody to be real clear. The, the closer it came to earth, the brighter it got. Does everybody see that? Except it was coming straight down. I literally saw this. Uh, with with my eyes closed while praying, I saw this asteroid. I'm just going to use the term asteroid. It was just coming straight down towards Earth, and it wasn't getting smaller and burning out. It was getting bigger. Um, and I actually, in all honesty, as I always do, I'd forgotten about it as insignificant. I just, I, I can't explain why. And then God, uh, last night while I was sleeping, God reminded me um, about what I'd seen. See, you know, God wants to get his message out about bloodshed and fire and pillars of smoke. Look, how do you explain this? That today there was yet another second refinery blast. 26 have perished, people. Did anybody pray for them? Now, I just opened this. Now, look, there's the number 37 again. There's the 3. Nobody can deny this. The three seven. Read this article. I'm not putting links. I'm just. I'm really actually. Here's the seven. Everything is a. It seems like God is showing us so many signs, and and I believe everybody's ignoring them. They're just. Here, here's the three seven again, and here, here's a three, and even look. Um, it says at the end of the story, we got here in the middle of the night at 3 or 3.30, there's your 333, bloodshed, fire, and pillars of smoke. So there's Japan, there's your fires, the bloodshed is in Chicago, it's in New York, it's everywhere. And so, last night as I was sleeping, I heard the word Gibeon. I didn't even know where Gibeon was or what it was, so I looked it up. Well, it's, <laughs> it, you'd have to go to read about the Gibeonites in Joshua uh, 9 right here now just watch this all I did was Google Gibeon Gibeon and find out it used to be I heard this in my sleep last night well you say well how does Gibeon relate to well have I not been showing the same exact map this is uh, for since April these maps in my Bibles this is uh, used to be near Jerusalem you can go if you want to follow this prophecy and believe in the gift of prophecy, go read these scriptures, John, uh, Joshua 9.23, Joshua 9.27, 2 Samuel 2.11. Basically, um, I, want you, I will put a link to this story because I think it's very important. He, uh, they, they were in a covenant, and um, they were fat. They had consecrated uh, right here. Um, 
look at this for three days it's three days after so hit there's your three it's three days after a seven I was reading this there there's the see there's the three and then they were doing this uh, this just all just came upon me last night and this morning and it's Saturday as a watch around the wall I have to be obedient the uh, here's a three and then they're talking about this um, I'm still studying this I know my videos aren't the uh, See, they're in a covenant, but I'm looking for the seven-day part. But just read it for yourself. I think it's better if you read it for yourself. So I saw this coming straight down. It was getting bigger like this one was. And then I, I heard the word Gibeon, and I saw that it was where Jerusalem used to be. And I realized that there was much bloodshed, and that they literally... Uh, see, you can read it for yourself. I think it's better. The So I look... I, as I googled Gibeon I found out that there was a, a meteorite I guess named after Gibeon see that Gibeon meteorite the discovery of the first Gibeon meteorite um, so I guess it's a name of a meteorite so it's so let's just go over this one more time so everybody understands on day two of the consecrated fast that 40 of us did, I saw this falling down, hitting earth. It was getting brighter and brighter, not burning out. Wormwood, just like this one, except it was going straight down over a populated area. Uh, last night, uh, while sleeping in a dream-like state, kind of right as I was falling asleep, I heard Gibeon. I didn't even know where it was. I found out that it was near Jerusalem and then I read this story about Joshua 9 and 2 Samuel 21 and I just want you to see all these scriptures during the search I'd noticed that it would referred to meteorites which is how it started so one at one just so you're following me on this uh, two three that's three even on the note I'm handing I'll just read my notes first sign saw star falling 822 while fasting second heard Gibeon while sleeping three found out it was near Jerusalem and it's also the name of a meteor and then my note says they were slaughtered so I began to check my other prophecy there were two earthquakes in Japan and I, I think that's just the beginning and um, that there was yet another deadly fire so I'm putting out a prophecy that apparently we are more into the end times than most people know and I'm not going to add to it or take away from it I'm just going to put it up on a Saturday when I really don't want to I mean actually here's a seven here five and two is seven and two and one is seven or two and one is three no matter where you look at it, here 21 minutes ago, that's a that's a three. There, there's just so many ways you can just. I think I will put links. I'm just going to upload all this as a prophecy that I don't know uh, if I'll even be here. If my YouTube account will even exist, this could happen 50 years from now. But if I saw it in a dream and a vision from God, it's going to happen. We are going to get hit by a giant asteroid, and I also saw. On God's Healer 7, she had the same prophecy that an asteroid. She was literally shaking. So it's not just me. God is trying to get your attention and say, repent. And you know what? I hate to say this. I really don't like want to say this. I don't want no credit for this. I'm a minister given this tough job of putting out these tough words. But the church is asleep. We're, we're falling back into the world and we've lost our first love and God's gonna he's not gonna just keep waiting just look at the signs and and let's get it right Saints Jesus is coming back wormwood peace